Attack on Titan, 10 Harsh Realities of Being Emer Fritz Born thousands of years before the events of Aeoti, Emer is indirectly responsible for innumerable deaths. One of the most popular shonen anime in history. Attack on Titan depicts a world full of grief, death, and tragedy. The show originally starts from the premise of the remnants of humanity fighting against the monstrous titans. All the while taking refuge behind the last walls holding the creatures at bay, Wall Maria, Wall Rose, and Wall Sheena. As protagonist Aaron Yeager soon learns, reality isn't quite so black and white. Aaron's own people, the Eldians, carry the bloodline of the Titans. And the biggest tragedy in the series is perhaps that of their ancestor, Emer Fritz. Born thousands of years before the events of Aeoti. Emer is indirectly responsible for innumerable deaths, but she is just as trapped by circumstances as her descendants. 10. She becomes a slave and has her tongue cut off. Emer's tale of sorrow starts when her village is attacked and enslaved by the Eldians. At the time, Eldians were a primitive tribe that pillaged opposing people, killed their captives, and cut off the tongues of those they left alive. Emer's parents are killed in the attack, and Emer herself becomes a slave. Like in the case of other survivors, Emer's tongue is cut off. 9. She stumbles into supernatural powers that just ruin her life further. During her time as a slave, Emer earns her owner's displeasure after releasing some pigs from their pen. When questioned, all the other slaves blame her for the incident. Released to be hunted for sport, she stumbles into a gigantic tree. After falling into a pool of strange liquid, she merges with a mysterious creature and is granted the power of the Titans. The anomaly is later identified as the source of all living matter, or the shining centipede. While its exact nature is never explained, it is sentient to some degree and possesses the ability to heavily affect the environment. In Emer's case, she may have been better off without its gifts, as the supernatural powers she receives just ruin her life further. 8. She falls in love with her abuser and becomes a weapon of mass destruction. After receiving the power of the Titans, Emer earns King Fritz's favor. She goes on to serve him in every possible way, assisting in the advancement of the Eldian civilization, but also obliterating its enemies. Using the power of the Titans, she easily defeats the armies of Marley, practically becoming a weapon of mass destruction. King Fritz takes her on as his concubine seeing this act as a reward for her service. They have three daughters, Rose, Maria, and Sheena. Despite the fact that he is a cruel man and only uses her for her powers, it is speculated that she genuinely falls in love with him throughout this time. 7. She sacrifices her life for a man who only uses her. King Fritz's cruelty earns him many enemies, and one notable incident marks the history of the world and of the Eldian Empire. As a group of Marleyan soldiers are brought in front of Fritz, one of them attempts to assassinate him with a hidden spear. Because of her love for him, Emer jumps in front, taking the blow in his stead. King Fritz shows her no gratitude or compassion, urging her to get up even as she is wounded. He doesn't believe she will die from her injury. As it turns out, her powers don't save her. And she ends up giving her life for him. 6. Her body is cannibalized by her daughters. Emer's death changes nothing about Fritz's inhumane character. Her loss leaves him without his most powerful weapon. Fearful that the power of the Titans will be lost. He forces their daughters to cannibalize Emer's corpse. He then orders them to keep reproducing and have their descendants eat their spines upon their deaths. As a result, the nine titans are created. 5. Her descendants inherit her curse. After receiving her powers, Emer survives only 13 years. 
This is tragic enough, as are her actions and suffering throughout her life. But her early passing has a different consequence. All of her descendants, the inheritors of the nine titans, fall under the curse of Emer. They can only survive a maximum of 13 years after they receive their powers. 4. She is trapped within the paths after death. Even after her death, Emer isn't free from her suffering. Instead, she is trapped within the unknown land where the coordinate resides. Where the paths that connect all Eldians intersect. There, she keeps obeying her descendants, constantly crafting titans according to their will. In a way, she is killing her own children. Over and over again. To make matters worse, many of the titans she creates are mindless weapons that kill other Eldians. It's a never-ending circle of violence that Emer is helpless to stop. 3. She is only freed from her poisonous love after the rumbling. During the War for Parody arc, Emer agrees to help Eren. He tells her she is a human being with a choice and she chooses him over his brother Zeke. The rumbling has a devastating effect on the world and ultimately ends with Eren's death at Mikasa's hands. However, as she finally watches Eren and Mikasa together, Emer has an epiphany about her own relationship with King Fritz. She is freed from his poisonous love for the man who used her, though she cannot help but envision a better future, one where she had let him die. 2. Her descendants are heavily persecuted because of her actions. Emer may have meant well and been a victim, but her actions and relationship with King Fritz are what leads Eldia on such a hugely destructive path. Eldia may have been powerful and cruel before Emer even entered the picture, but without her, Fritz would have never acquired such terrible power. As a result of her submission, Eldians become monsters. Their bloodstained history doesn't stop even when King Karl Fritz, the 145th ruler of Eldia, arranges for the downfall of his own country and withdraws to parody. The Eldians who never make it there are persecuted in Marley, whereas the inhabitants of parody end up hunted down by their own kind, rebellious Eldians transformed into pure titans by the Marleans. 1. She goes down in history as a devil and a goddess. Despite being a slave with next to no will of her own, Emer goes down in history with a very different image. Eldians romanticize her story, honoring her as if she were a goddess. Meanwhile, Marleans claim Emer made a pact with the devil to acquire her powers. In the end, she is neither, just an unfortunate, miserable girl. Trapped by a power hungry man, then by a cruel destiny and a force greater than her will. Many readers of the manga feel the ending was bad, but if there's one thing most will agree upon, it's that Emer's freedom comes as a relief.